All right, so welcome back. So again, when you log into Blackboard, you'll notice that I've got the starting point as the home page. So I'm currently right there. And you'll notice that I do have uh, a welcome uh, paragraph. Uh, and just again, letting you know that the course does begin on Tuesday, January 22nd. I've got an overview and structure of the course, some etiquette policy and some other requirements. You can go ahead and read through those. Again, at the bottom, I went ahead and put the connect access card that you'll need to purchase You'll need this. It'll give you the e-text and also access to connect, which allows you to submit the homework and quiz assignments. And again, I'll show you the link in Blackboard where you'll go to do all that. Uh, the next link I've got is the announcement. So if I click on the announcements, I've got the first one up. That's basically saying Blackboard's available. Review these links. Notice about connect. There is a 14-day free trial period. Uh, so you can all register on or before January 22nd. Um, again because that again is when the course begins and you'll need to you know have access to connect so again i tend to send out weekly announcements also just to remind you of what you should be doing each week and you should get these through your emails as well notice the next link is my instructor again there's my bio there's a picture again here's my phone number email and office location and also my virtual office hours uh, you'll also find some of the same information duplicated in the syllabus as well in case you're wondering so again uh, that's under my instructor Next link again is the syllabus and uh, class schedule. So what you want to do is you want to open up uh, the syllabus. I'll go ahead and do that right now. And again, you'll find a lot of duplicate information in the syllabus. Enable editing. So again, here's again my virtual hours, again my office location, phone and email. Again, here's the required textbook. It's a connect access with its e-text as well. Again, the procedures of the course, you can read through all that. I want to kind of page down to the course grade. Notice there's two exams. Notice the weights. You'll have actually 12 quizzes, but I drop your two lowest. So only 10 quizzes will count. You'll have 12 homework assignments. I drop your two lowest, only 10 will count. There's the weights. Again, read through all my policies. On the quizzes, I always give you two attempts on each quiz. I count the best one. And on the homework assignments, I do give you unlimited attempts. So again, read through all these policies in your syllabus. Uh, so click on that and you'll find all the information. Again, if you have any questions about any of that, just email me. Uh, next up is the class schedule. And again, this is to give you an idea about the pace of the course. So I'm going to open that up. And just follow this weekly. First week is the first couple of chapters. Notice uh, and the second week is three and four. And don't get overwhelmed um, because a lot of the first three or four chapters is very, very basic stuff. Um, most of you probably already know it. but Again, uh, you'll notice once we get to the week of February 4th, we're down to one chapter a week, essentially. But you can follow this. This gives you the pace of the course. Notice the first exam is the week of March 4th. And, of course, the last exam will be the week of May 13th. So, again, this is to give you an idea of the pace of the course. And, again, this is all under uh, the schedule. Again, here's your textbook. You'll need to purchase this. You can either get it through the, the Forest Park bookstore or you can also buy it directly from McGraw-Hill. All right, so the next thing after that, I've got the Connect registration. So I'm going to open up this PDF file. It gives you the URL. I've also given you the link. If I click this link, notice, it'll take you right to the website where you have to, you can register with Connect. It says click this green box, says go to Connect, and it'll walk you right through it. All right, next up is course readiness. Once you've done all this, you want to go here, open this up, click Agree, and there's a five bonus points just to say that you're ready to begin the course. All right, next up, uh, Connect website. Again, that's another link I've given you. Again, if you want some quick access to get to the McGraw-Hill website, just click that. Uh, very important, next one is the learning modules. I have a learning module for each chapter. So for example, for chapter one, you'll see there's an overview with the learning objectives. Here's all the agenda items you should do for each chapter. Notice they always end with submit the homework and quiz. I got all the page references for you. And I also put another Connect login link if you're ever in here if you want to go right in to do your homework and quizzes after you've done this stuff. So again, here's my PowerPoints, my any sort of um, textbook or handout illustrations and homework illustrations. Review all those that should help you with the assignments. Again, very important. The learning modules is the link in Blackboard where I have all my recordings, lectures, and basically my teaching. So that's where you want to go um, to get to get my my recommendations and suggestions on how to complete the assignments. Um, you'll also get some of this stuff in the Connect website. They give you a lot of different resources. You can use those as well. There's a lot of stuff, but I would suggest you start with first with my learning modules, and then, of course, you can kind of supplement that with all the different information they give you in Connect. 
All right, next thing is the course documents. You can always access any document for any chapter directly without going through the learning modules at any time during the semester. I've got a PowerPoint link and, of course, textbook solutions and a section where you can check your grade. All right, so again, I'm going to go back to the My Instructor. Once you've logged into Blackboard and you've gone through all these, and if you have any questions, go back, just give me a call. There's my office phone. Email would be preferred because I typically respond quicker with emails. And, of course, there's my office location.